Dutch? Miss O'Shea? Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. You, uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. They don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah! Dutch! Arthur! <clears throat> What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. <sighs> they nearly lynched me. They, they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging him. Here's open. Arthur. What? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No. I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah, of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur? No crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. I rode as fast as I could, didn't stop for nothing. Yeah, you look like you've been through it. <sighs> I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Micah's got a crazy side off it. What were you boys doing? <laughs> You're supposed to be scouting ahead for us. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was, you worry too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Micah knew, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. And then he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you gonna go get him? I'll come with you. No, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Micah. It was drink that started all this. We'll just have a couple. Settle you down and head back, okay? Okay. Now, I should warn you. Me and a couple of the other boys, we got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. What kind of fight? Oh, nothing big. No, we kept it clean. We're all good. <laughs> if you say so, Arthur.
Just one or two. Right, Arthur? Of course, just a drink. No big drama. Can we get a couple beers, please? You! I don't want no trouble. And you'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff, but Micah... A lot of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, there, Dullard! My lord, you men is dull. <laughs> hey, leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone for the last ten years. Listen, buddy. You're a charming fellow. One of the best. But me and the kid here, we're trying to talk business, so could you possibly leave us alone? No offense intended. Ain't no pleasing some folk. Just trying to be friendly. <laughs> oh. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's great, Martin. <laughs> Lenny, where are you? Found my friend. You know where we went? You asking the wrong fella. See that fella I was with? So what are you doing, kid? Hello, off. You know what? I don't know. <laughs> 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 That's the thing, you see, because it... Lenny? Lenny! Get away, watch me! Yeah. We'll flip around right, shit, ain't you? Yeah. Come on! Oh. Goddamn animals! Who do you think you're talking to? Nobody. I'm talking to nobody. What did you say? What? I said, what did you say? Get lost, buddy. Shut up, mister. Yeah, shut your mouth, mister. <laughs> Oh my god! 
You moron! Not again! For Christ's sake!
So be it. So anyway. me again, girl. Slow up. you stepping in there those bastards been turning the screw on me from day one saying I gotta pay them protection money I told them where to stick it and well I guess you just saw how that panned out you watch yourself right what happened to you two cowering like dogs you wouldn't give us no guns Pa. this is the worst idea I've ever had we're with you on that. Stay out of trouble. I'll try. You'll be all right. Just stick it out. I just want to go back home. Again? Are you serious? You Steven bastard! Okay there? Got any idea what time it is? Yeah, no problem. Take care now. Well, I'm sure you got things to do. Hey! Okay, girl. Yeah! you Arthur they got Bill what who has it Bountyman I found their cam nearby they got Bill tied up I'm gonna go take care of it come on oh, sloppy Bill yeah well all right lead the way 
So how'd you find him? You said he was going hunting? Never <laughs> returned. I was able to track the tracers pretty easily. Only a matter of time before they decide to pick up camp. I head for town to collect the bounty. Guess we're in sights again. When are we not, Arthur? Fair point. What'll Dutch do? Ain't for me to say. Doubt Bill will like it, whatever it is. He's a problem. We all know it. Is that for me to say? I think it is, Arthur. Well, let's save his ass first. Worry about how to kick it later. Damn right this. you do. Well, I'm gonna head back to camp, find a bottle, and nurse these bruises. Yeah. I'm headed to camp as well. Thanks, Arthur. <sighs> What's next?
I help you? Just taking a look. We're with the Appleseed Timber Company. Head farming. We're still getting started on this site, but we should have some fine big valley lumber for sale very soon if you're interested. I'll keep that in mind. We should be further along by now, but what can you do? <laughs> look at these dolts. There's not a brain between them. Listen, you got any supplies for sale? Food, medicine, We're starting to run low. I can't spare anyone to go into town, not the way things are going. I'd be happy to pay premium for them. Appreciate it. That should help keep us going. Here I took a little jolt and have managed to get myself hopelessly lost. I am staying in Strawberry. If you could just guide me back. Can't yeah, think of a good reason to say no. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Shall I hop up there on the, on the back with you? Your legs work, don't they? <sighs> well, yes, I suppose. It's just a little demeaning. What are you doing out here, anyway? This clearly ain't your natural habitat. I, uh, no, I'm just visiting. Uh, I, I'm from New York City, actually. You don't say. Oh, yes. There was some talk at the country club about this burgeoning little resort town called Strawberry. So I thought it might be quite the trip to see what all the fuss was. Perhaps make a few investments while it was still undervalued. Turns out I was made the fool. Not enjoying it, Dan? It's a town of splinters. If you could call it much of a town at all, I'd hardly stepped off the carriage and I'd taken in the whole place. I suppose some might call it charming. <laughs> Let me tell you, charm is not worth much these days. You show me a timber frame shack and I'll show you Broadway. And meanwhile, you have this... Mayor, a quite intolerable blowhard. A little bespoke woodwork, and he thinks this is a cultural hub? The man's completely deluded. 
Well, I should give him some credit. He must be quite the salesman. He did get me out here after all. More fool me. Now I'm chopping through the leaves in the muck with some cowboy. Uh, no, no offense. Little taken. Familiar. Resourceful sort, sir. If for some reason you plan to spend any time in Strawberry, you may want to look into that gabbing mayor. Something is definitely off with him. All right. Well, keep that in mind. Hello, sir. I've, uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang, Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight, two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mick, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, sir. Let me out of here, you maggots! Arthur! Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you gonna get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you Swing. You got to do something, Arthur. This wall just... Need some good force. You might want to step back a bit. Maybe that steam donkey over there still works. Let's get out of here, come on. What the hell are you doing? He wasn't O'Driscoll. Oh, I knew you were scum the moment I laid eyes on you. Oh, man. 
you. You have finally lost your damn mind. Keep moving, Arthur! Goddamn maniac! I should have left you to hang. We're in it now, Morgan. What do you want to do? I'm sending that straight back. Hope you paint it. Oh, finish him! Send them all out. Come on. Everything you got. We should be long gone by now.
gotta hand it to you. What the hell was that you pulled back? Hey, got a bit wild, all right. Wild? Making a house call in the middle of all that? Ain't much I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah, we ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. If he hadn't found us in time... Yes, you will all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. For some unknown reason. Oh, there. I think we finally lost him. I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time? Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? All right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you... And me, sons of Dutch, makes us brothers. Sometimes, brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. So you ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <laughs> Bye now. Yeah. Idiot. Yeah. 
my goddamn life. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I shriek to forget. Oh, hey there. Why, why don't you join me and have a seat over here by, by the fire? Oh. By the fire. carrying around you won't even believe but if I had a little whiskey to loosen up my tongue a little I might I might tell you <sighs> here hmm hmm only fitting that I'd be drinking the devil's brew I'll be seeing him soon enough. You're, you're a place called Four Rigs? South of Strawberry. Captain, Indians penned in their lock cattle. I ain't know what's worse. Seeing the ones we killed or watching the other ones die the slow way. <sighs> well, they pay well, them government boys. But the money don't last long. Uh -uh. It's, it's what you did. Sticks around. I know the feeling. Oh. I was a, a y young man then, but I still see them faces clear as yesterday. I do. I might risk your last minute. Follow me, girl. Very sleepy all of a sudden. Hold on there, girl.
Decent hunt, girl. It's me! Welcome back, Arthur. Yep. Already feels like Sean's been back forever. Well, he makes his presence known. He does that. Morning. Morning, Arthur. How's it all going? Fantastic. Okay.
haven't received anything from you in a while, Mr. Morgan. All right, dude. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Good morning. Morning to you. Good morning, Arthur. It was a heap of trouble, but I got Micah out of jail. Oh, thank you, Arthur. So where is he? Still out around that way. Looking for a peace offering, he said. Anyway, I won't disturb you. All right, then. My boy. How are you? Ah, not so good. It'll pass. Good work, Arthur. That's a business I know nothing about, Reverend. Uh, that's between you and God. Sometimes I feel as if he cared. He would have killed me years ago. Is that the feeling I can relate to? <laughs> when are we hunting another bear? Uh, <laughs> maybe not for a while. Might be for the best. Ah, Mr. Morgan. You seem chipper. 
But where there's life, there's hope, my friend. And? Arthur. All right. Don't you ever get fed up with all this? Sometimes, I suppose. This can't to do with a few improvements. Why don't you take a look at my ideas? How are you feeling? Just remember, my items are one of a kind, Mr. Morgan. I reckon I need to get my hands on some materials first. Morning. My lady. You look well. Thank you, Arthur. Hey, Arthur! What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train. You pain in the ass. Ass. Sure, but what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there.
love here. I heard about a house. Could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said... said it was really... freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. And they're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. They're well hidden in the woods. That sounds pretty dubious. Of course, uh, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. It's up north, on the other side of the river from Valentine. Best way there is through Cumberland Falls, though. You know it? Sure, or less. Let's go, girl. Yeah! Mm. God damn it! We're pretty close now. Let's stop and go on foot from here. Just up the hill this way. Follow me. There's a spot up ahead where we should be able to get a good look at the place. I want to make sure we don't run into any surprises. Sure. Apparently, this family's been isolated for so long, they started talking in their own weird dialect. They really don't like outsiders, especially on their turf. <sighs> well, you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? Pretty big barn in the back. Not a bad place to start looking. There must be a lot of people living here. A large house. Stash could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Boy, I, I think we need to draw them out somehow. And I got an idea. Follow me. All these trees, I can't get a proper look at the place. Well, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us, too. Coast seems clear so far. Yeah, so far. Hey, keep it down. I hear voices. Hide behind this shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. Just stay quiet. Where you been now, dude? Don't be boiling now, Pappy. I was gone for ten minutes, I was. Gag all the nowadays, huh? Cause Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? No, Edie, get all the jam! You'll shut your gulper, or I'll flag her your felt, I will. Release, pull it up, boy. Huh? Go guard the shed. Go! You understand what they're saying? Not much of it. What we 
you doing, Javier? Okay, you take cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, and then you jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? You'll see. Be quiet! about defending that barn. Let's check in there first. Has to be under here. There's no place else that could store it. Hey, Arthur. Give me a hand here. I told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Yeah, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Right, sounds good.
Idiot.
Easy, easy. familiar with the study of plants, my friend? Familiar ain't quite the word I'd use. Well, let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. But we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. You see, there are thousands, maybe millions of plants all across this vast country we share. The mountains, the plains, the swamps. I mean to explore them all to know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder, if I can. Sure. But I'm only one man. Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Why? Knowledge, kindness, beauty. Well, I'm ignorant, ugly, and nasty. <laughs> well, let's see if maybe we can do something about that. I'll see. I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You can distinguish it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. <laughs> Let's see how this tastes. Oh, yeah. I feel better already. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. You've been helpful. Thank you. You're a horseman, I know. You'll want to have this on hand. Save it for bad injuries. Heaven forbid your horse is in trouble. You'll be glad you had it. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, traveler. I can see why you do this. All the best to you. Thanks, Arthur. A and to you.
It's me, Arthur. Wondered when you'd roll back in. There we go. too much. You? I woke up in the middle of nowhere. Ugh. Messy. Well, I should get back to it. Sure. Hey. Hello. Where's my money? Where is it? Uh, what? What, what, what? What do you mean? Uh, I'm just joking with you. Yep, all right. I'll see ya. John, let's get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Sure. See you, Arthur. Ain't that dumb. <laughs> Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. How are you doing? How you think I'm doing? I'm sorry. Just let me know if there's anything I can do. I got no idea. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? <sighs> Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. <sighs> Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because you do what you say. Please? <sighs> okay. I'll take him in the morning. Thank you.
Hello, gentlemen. Arthur. Hey. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're... <laughs> it's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole then. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. Down to the river near here. You shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Well, your mama might disagree. There are a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Oh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> Been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. All right. This looks as good a spot as any. Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. I can't wait to get started. But first, we need some bait. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Smellier the better. Now, cast your line, swing the rod back over your shoulder, and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it, good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. But if you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. Something's tugging at your rod, Uncle Arthur. Ah! Missed him. Well, that's just a part of fishing, Jack. Uncle Arthur! I think he's got a bite. Look! Got one, Jack. Is it a big one? Look, Jack. It's a rock bass. Yeah, it's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm gonna pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. I like the look of that spot. There! Got him! You see him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You'll break the line. 
Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Well, seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. Oh, this one's a red fin pickerel. Not bad. Something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit and wait. And try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Hmm. You've got a bite, Uncle Arthur? Whoop, think I got one. I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes. Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphan street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000 for me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn. And you have my word, you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow. But merciful. You enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. <laughs> it's getting late, Jack. Your mother will be worried. Let's head back. I don't like it here anymore. Come on, girl. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because... Well... Because those are disagreeable men. And I don't want them to hurt him. 
What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Well, did you like fishing? It was okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. <laughs> Boys getting on. Great. We caught a fish and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, um, Milton and, um, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing. Just yet. It's just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived. Them mountains. We just need to stay calm.